Second problem of PMO 25th national stage day one. Uh, we want it's 2023. We want to solve first second problem. This problem was similar to a problem in a book of the for Maryam Mirzakhani. Let me tell you the problem. It is, I think, for around 15, 20 years ago, the book. The problem is exactly similar and the idea, the solution also similar. The problem was this. 2 to the p minus 1 minus 1 over p is perfect square and p is odd prime. Prime number and find all p. So I will solve problem number two for you, and by the same way you can solve this problem as homework. Okay, and you can comment your answers right below this video, or if you had question, uh, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, let's work on this problem. It says two to the p plus one minus four all over p is perfect square, so it is x squared. At first, let's check some prime, small prime numbers. For example, if p is 2, it's 2 cubed minus 4 small examples over 2 is 8 minus 4 over 2 is 2. It's not perfect square. If we check, for example, p3, then 2 to the 4 minus 4 all over 3. 16 minus 4, 12. 12 over 3 is 4. It's perfect square. So one good prime is p3. For example, we can check p5. It will be 2 to the 6 minus 4 over 5 which will be 64 minus 4, 60 over 4, si over 5, 60 over 5 is what is 12, it's not good. So, let's consider general case, you say 2 to the p plus 1 minus 4 is px squared. We can consider p is odd, and uh, left hand side is, we can say p is at least 7, because we've checked up to p5, so left hand side is multiple of 4, because 2 to the p plus 1 multiple of 4 minus 4 multiple of 4. This p is odd, so right hand side is multiple of 4. So we can say 4 divides left hand side, which is 2 to the p plus 1 minus 4. Also 4 divides right hand side, 4 divides px squared. Because p is odd, you can cancel p by Euclid's lemma, you can say. We call it the Euclid's lemma when something divides the product of two things. Then and four and p are relatively prime. We can cancel p. Four divides x squared, so x is even. Okay. And we can say okay, x for example is two y. So let's rewrite it to the p plus one minus four equal to p instead of x. I replace it with two y whole squared. It is 4py squared. If we divide both sides by 4, then it will be 2 to the p minus 1 minus 1 equal to py squared. From here, it will be exactly the same as previous problem. 2 to the p minus 1 minus 1 all over p. So here we factorize. Because p is odd, p we said is at least 7. p is odd, so p minus 1 is even. So you can factorize left hand side 2 to the p minus 1 over 2, minus 1, 2 to the p minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is py squared. When we have product of two things, this problem is also the idea we want to solve. This problem is useful in BMO, British Mathematical Olympiad round 2. I think around four years ago we had same idea. Let me find the problem. The problem is for BMO. 2017-2018. The idea is exactly the same. This idea because it's so much famous. Let me copy the problem. There's a problem here. Okay. BMO 2017-2018 round 2. British Mathematical Olympiad. Try to solve this also as homework number two. Because the idea is same. 
So when we have product of two things equal perfect square or prime number times perfect square, you should consider GCD. So we consider GCD of 2P minus 1 over 2 minus 1 and 2P minus 1 over 2 plus 1 equal to D. Because D divides 2P minus 1 over 2 minus 1 and D divides 2P minus 1 over 2 plus 1. So if we subtract D divides 2. And because the two numbers are odd, because p is at least 7, so it is even minus 1 odd, even plus 1 odd, d is odd, so d is 1. Okay, so they are relatively prime numbers. And because of this, we have two cases. 2 to the p minus 1 over 2 minus 1 is p, for example, z squared. One of them should be p z squared. The other one should be w squared, because they are relatively prime. Or we can say the first one, minus 1, is, for example, c squared, or do we have a or b? We don't have a or b. Okay. So the first one, for example, is a squared, 2 to the p minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is pb squared. Okay, for this case, if we can say mod 4, oh, let's consider... Ah, for this one, let's first analyze this one. If we consider this one, we know p is at least 7. So p minus 1 over 2 is at least 7 minus 2, 6 over 2, 3. So if we consider mod 4, right hand side, because it is perfect, square is 0 or 1, a squared. It's easy. If we consider mod 4, a number, for example, t, is 0 plus minus 1 or 2 mod 4. And if you raise to the power of 2, it is 0, it is 1, it is 0. So 0, 1. Left hand side 2 to the something greater than equal 3. 0 mod 4 minus 1. So it will be minus 1, minus 1 is 3. 4 minus 1, 3. So here we reach contradiction. Now let's consider this case. For this case, we say 2 to the p minus 1 over 2. This one. Let's consider it is first one. It is second one. By second one, we say, okay, 2 to the p minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is w squared. If we subtract 1 from both sides, 2 to the p minus 1 over 2 is w squared minus 1. So it will be w minus 1 times w plus 1. Okay. Now here, because, uh, again, we consider GCD. Suppose GCD of w minus 1, w plus 1 is d1. Then we can say d1 divides 2. Why? Because d1 divides w minus 1, w plus 1. If we Subtract d1 dy is 2, so d1 is 1 or 2. Because d1 is 1 or 2, so we know it because the product is powers of power of 2 and p minus 1 is at, over 2 is at least 3. So if the GCD is 1, they should be powers of 2. For example, it is 2 to the a, 2 to the b, because the product is powers of power of 2. So if GCD is 1, the smaller one, we know a smaller one is this, should be 1. So it should be 1. Then if it is 1, w minus 1 is 1. So w is 2. So w plus 1 is 3. It's contradiction. If GCD is 2, so this one should be 2. The next one should be another powers of 2. So w minus 1 is 2. So w is 3. w plus 1 is 4. So 2 times 4, 8. So... 2 to the p minus 1 over 2 equal to 8, which is 2 cubed. So p minus 1 over 2 is 3. So p is 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7. Okay. So p is 7 and 2, let's check it. Let's check p7 here. 2 to the 8 minus 4 over 7. It will be what? Uh, 2 to the 8. Minus 4 over 7. It's multiple of 4. So, uh, you can factorize. Or you can say, okay, 1 to 8 minus 4 over 7. 1 to 4 over 7. And you can say it is 1 uh, times 7. I'm sorry, 2 to the 8 is 2, 5, 6. Let me replace 2, 5, 6, 2, 5, 2. Mm, 252 over 7, if you divide it, it will be 3 times 7, 21. 
42, 36, it is another perfect square, so P7 also works. So we proved that except P3 and 7, there is no answer for this problem. Also, this problem of the book, I can say the problem is repeatable because the only thing here, it, the difference between this and this, here, if you multiply this one by 4, you will reach this. And if a number is perfect square, it is equivalent that 4 times that is perfect square. So it is a repeated problem from a book with a small difference only multiplied by 4. So there are some books, some ideas. Let me tell you the book has how many important problems in the first part. 72 problems. If you solve 40 of them, they are so much useful and have lots of ideas. If you want to know the problems of the book, and uh, important ideas like the things we've solved here, and I told you also in BMO round two, the problem is useful. If you want to learn these things, as I said before, Feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks.